Knock sensors prevent harmful spontaneous startup. Uncontrolled acyclic combustions generate a high temperature inside the cylinder, which subjects determined components inside an engine, such as pistons, valves or the cylinder head, to very high efforts. The sensor is responsible for recording the impacts caused by the knocking effect, transforming them into an electrical signal. A hoisting device should be used to disassemble this sensor, since the sensor is installed on the engine block and it's usually hard to access. Locate the sensor and disconnect it. Next, unscrew the knock sensor to remove it. Examine the body of the sensor and check for any dents or impacts that could have damaged it. Common causes of malfunction? Cracks or breaks caused by mechanical stress. Deformations or dents caused by overheating of the sensor. Corrosion on the metallic body caused by incorrect anchoring to the engine. Loss of signal caused by a broken cable or an internal malfunction of the sensor as a result of mechanical or thermal stress. Signs of knocking in the engine will be heard in case of malfunction of the knock sensor. In addition, the check engine LED will be lit. Proceed as follows to install the sensor on the engine. Clean the area where the sensor will be installed and apply a thin film of silicone grease to the base of the sensor to improve the transmission of vibrations and to improve the contact surface of the engine. The metallic part of the sensor must be in direct contact with the engine block, with no washers installed. Take into account that the torque applied during assembly must be 20 plus or minus 5 newton meters in order to guarantee that correct readings are taken. Use a torque wrench to do so, as shown next. Finally, make sure that the cable is firmly secured to prevent false signals from being read. The correct operation of the knock sensor will guarantee the optimum performance of the engine and lengthen its working life.